This bridge is a new location. It connects eastern Louisiana to western Louisiana and it will just be a boom for the whole region of the state. This bridge will connect St. Francisville, West Feliciana Parish, US 61 to LA1 in uh, New Rose, Louisiana, Point Coupee Parish. It's going to be the longest cable stayed bridge in the Western Hemisphere, 1,583 feet. And it's going to be the first crossing between Baton Rouge and Natchez, which, which is 90 mile gap, and closing that gap uh, for these two communities. The cable stayed bridge is uh, something that's basically being used now for all river crossings. Uh, it's uh, more economical to construct. There's less maintenance to be performed on this bridge uh, versus a uh, conventional truss bridge. So it's um, a very nice structure, uh, two 500-foot towers uh, with, with large supports in the river and uh, cables that will uh, connect the deck to these towers and just span the entire river. What are some of the uh, uh, engineering hurdles to uh, overcome to get this job done? The first and foremost thing would be the, the foundation of the bridge and getting the drill shafts down into the bottom of the river. The drill shafts are about half as deep as the piers are tall. So all told, from the tip of the shaft to the top of the tower, we have a structure taller than the state capitol. Almost as tall as the, the Titanic would have been had it stood on its end. Tell us about the cables. The cables themselves are composed of strands and it's rolled into about a half inch diameter group of strands called the cable and then inside each one of the stays that you see, the orange plastic stays, is anywhere from 28 to 143 cables depending on how far out they are and how much load they have to hold. And how many cables are involved in this project? I believe there's enough cable involved in this job to go from here to Austin, Texas. The cables have a little uh, groove on them that help the wind go through and uh, pass over the cables. Uh, and all of this bridge deck and uh, uh, cable state bridge was modeled and wind tunnel tested for hurricane force winds to make sure that uh, this bridge would stand up in, in this climate in Louisiana. How do the cables support the weight of the bridge? <clears throat> the cable holds the weight just like a fishing rod holds the, the fish you're reeling in. You, you've got the, the pole would be roughly equivalent to the tower and the line is equivalent to the stay itself and the fish would be the weight of the bridge and, and, and anybody who's landed a fish knows how that works. Today is, is the closure, the connection of the two decks from each of these towers. Uh, it's uh, putting in the, the connection steel that, that closes the gap between these, these two uh, independent segments that were constructed from each one of these towers and it's just a significant day in this closure of the, of the bridge, bridge connection. And then the decks are gonna go on top of this and there's gonna be some concrete poured on top of these uh, uh, deck panels and, uh, and then an overlay on top of this uh, concrete deck that we're standing on today. Project completion date is, is uh, late summer 2011. How does it make you feel as you take a look at uh, today's ceremony? Oh, it's quite an accomplishment. A lot of satisfaction going in for not only the workers, but all the communities that they know that that bridge is just, is just a few months from being completed and being able to cross over instead of using the ferry. And what is this going to mean uh, from an economic development standpoint? Well, it's going to mean, I think it's going to mean economic development for these two parishes that have been connected only by ferry for so many years. And uh, it's going to just open up all kind of commerce and, and all kind of property in, in both West Feliciana and, and Point Coupee Parish. The entire bridge project is, it just shows that DOTD can do what the legislature authorized it to do. They can build a bridge in just a short period of time and a super looking, fantastic, well-built, permanent bridge.